Hey, what's up dudes? It's been a while, but I'm back with a new update on my intermittent fasting journey. So I got a couple things I want to show you. So last time we were at, I believe it was Friday, right? So Friday and now we were at 135 pounds. Now it's been a little over a week and let me see actually, let's see. And now we are at 132 pounds. But it's been a little while since then, since today is now Sunday and we are at 128 pounds. By the way, I also listed the days of my workouts. They're all kind of the same. I kind of just put them there just as a reminder so I know you know what I'm what I'll be doing that day because today I actually did legs but when I went today I started doing chest so it's good to have a reminder <laughs> but anyway yeah that's it so I think we were 135 last time and now we are 128 so that's about seven pounds down which a lot of that is water weight by the way so just a little advice, whenever you're losing weight, and then especially if it's only within a little less than a month, it's safe to say that that's not really weight yet, but you can say if it's water weight, it's a pretty good start. So I think from here on out, it'll start to be weight, at least I'd like to assume, and uh, yeah. So for those of you that are still curious, I am still doing intermittent fasting, so I'm eating from 12. It's 2.16 now, so it's almost my second meal actually. My eating window is from 12 to 5 p.m. and then that's it I'm done for the day and I am still tracking calories which is very important otherwise this won't work I am still doing it you know so that's so what I'm gonna do here actually I'm gonna put when I started it's always good to keep track which I didn't do I'm surprised I didn't so we started January 29 which was a Friday so I put start just like uh, this come on focus start and then we're supposed to end at okay i'm not sure if i'm correct here but whatever we should end by march 1st i don't know why i was having a hard time deciding whether it was supposed to be february 28th or march 1st we'll just go with march 1st <laughs> whatever so that's when I'm supposed to be finished with the challenge. And so yeah, that's the update. I'm still doing the same exact thing, counting calories about, I do believe the last time I checked, it was about 1,400 calories, roughly. It's not exactly the same every time. Sometimes it's 1,300, 1,400, 1,500. That's the average. Don't obsess too much if it's not exact. Just a little word of advice. And so, as of today, we are sitting at 128 pounds. Again, like I said, that could be just water weight, but at least we're making progress, right? This is kind of just to give you an idea of what to expect when intermittent fasting. And yeah, that's it. So I'm going to hang this now, and uh, yeah. And so now I'm just here waiting for my second meal. It's not a full day of eating. I just, it just so happens that when I started recording, it's almost time for my, for my uh, second meal. So I'm probably going to have like a shake or something. Grab these bags. It's kind of heavy. It's bigger. Alright, so these are what I might have as my second meal. These are supplements. Um, whey protein, uh, to be more specific. Um, I don't always take supplements. It just my cousin bought these, so they're here. They're available. I might as well, since I don't really have anything else prepared to eat or drink and uh yeah i might make a separate video talking about uh whether or not to take supplements or not might do strawberry since i did chocolate last time by the way i also forgot to mention that i might do a body progress update but i find it a lot easier if i did it from day one with uh the final day instead of week by week since it's a little hard to notice progress like that and uh yeah here's your reminder Eat. All right, guys, welcome to my cooking tutorial. So let's get right into it. First, you're gonna need a cup of milk, right? You just kind of pour it in here, just like that. Okay. Next, what you do is you get a scoop of this. Get a 
scoop of that. Pour it right on there. Hey, wait. That might spill, to be honest. <laughs> it's always good to wear your mask when doing this. You know what I mean? So kind of just pour it right in there. As carefully as you can. Awesome. Well, that's a mess. <laughs> Alright, so let's pretend that didn't happen. Now what you gotta do is you gotta shake it, right? So you just make sure it's really closed. Shake time. <sighs> it is done. Ah, it's good, all right? It's done. So now I'm having this uh, sort of like a fruit salad thing, which we got from a, a party last night. Maybe later I'm going to have, I don't know, I'll fix up a little something around 5 p.m. And that's it. Start the fast again. You know there's some of this, by the way. You want some? Fruit salad? Yeah. All right. If you say so. <laughs> oh, and another thing. I'm also going to put some of these caffeine packets in my water. It's like, a, like an energy grape something. Low calorie. I usually I usually put these in the morning in my water just to kind of give myself a head start with my hydration because in the morning especially when it comes to drinking water I do not like doing that I'm really lazy when it comes to doing that but this helps not all the time though not all the time I probably only do like once every other day and then from there I drink water normally Alrighty, on to our next chore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this closet because it's very messy. Yeah, I'm probably going to get rid of all these clothes. Not really get rid of them, but take them out. And then, you know, that little corner, that's where I, uh, that's where all the magic happens. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to clean this up, put my camera and everything in there. And kind of, I'm actually also going to uh, paint these walls. I don't know if you can see that. See the difference? This one's white and this is like not painted. I'm going to do, I already finished all that side. I'm gonna do all this side next, and uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, cause uh, we gotta we gotta talk about something after I do that. So. Remember when I met you? Everything was so new. Exciting. So we went ahead and cleared out the area. So now what I'm gonna do is. I already painted that portion. I still have to do that, you know, whatever that is. And uh, this wall along here now. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Alrighty guys, here it is. I've finished the wall as you can see. It's all white now, except for this corner. I'm probably gonna do that uh, sometime later. But overall, I've got everything that I mostly want up to that corner over here. So, looking real clean. I probably won't really do much with the floor since, you know, it doesn't really matter. What do you guys think? Looks pretty nice. Yeah. Also, except for this corner too, I'll finish that later. So now I'm just gonna, you know, put everything back, fix that area a little bit, and then we'll talk about uh, what we gotta talk about today. So, apparently my battery died again. I should probably do something about that. Anyway, I'm here, I changed. Now we are ready to get on with the topic that I wanted to talk about today, which is walking versus running. There's a lot of benefits to both actually, but the question is, which one's better? A lot of people say running is better because of the fact that it is a faster movement compared to walking. But just because it's a faster movement doesn't really make it better. So why is that? Well, first of all, you need to ask yourself a couple of questions. Number one, are they both exercises? Yes. Do they both burn calories? Yeah. So as you can tell, both movements pretty much serve the same purpose, which is to burn calories 
and improve your overall health. First, let's talk about why walking might be better. When it comes to walking, almost everyone can do it. It's simple, it's easy, and just something everyone already does on a daily basis. With walking, you can burn calories for weight loss. Probably not as fast as running would, but still burns calories either way. Walking can also reduce the risk of injury since it's a slow paced movement. So say if you're someone who is really prone to injury or are just recovering from one. Walking is probably a good choice. It's especially beneficial for those who aren't really physically active. So walking can be a good start, especially if you're lazy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Plus, it's a more enjoyable exercise, which you can even do with your friends. Since I'm sure that most of the time, no one wants to run with you and have a conversation at the same time. You know what I mean? Another thing you can do when you walk is you can take a lot of breaks, which I'm sure you, including myself, likes to do a lot. So those are just one of many reasons why walking might be the better option for you. And then you have running. Running is another awesome exercise that you can implement into your daily routine. Just like walking, running has a lot of benefits too. For one, it's a really, really good way to improve your cardiovascular health. It's a better option in my opinion, when it comes to losing weight compared to walking because it burns a lot of calories at a faster rate and it takes less time to perform. But unfortunately, it also has its disadvantages. The first one being the fact that it's a movement that not everyone can do, especially if you are someone who is new to exercise or if you are someone with joint problems or are overweight. You might not be able to perform this exercise because of the high intensity level. Running can also put too much stress on the body, which in some cases can actually increase your chances of getting sick or can lessen your time to recover if you're already sick. Another disadvantage is you're more at risk for injury, especially if you're just starting out or if you're someone who wasn't properly taught how to perform the exercise. Yes, there is a proper way to do the exercise. You don't just go out there and run as fast as you can. So now that we've got a pretty good understanding of both the exercises, the question is, which one's better? Well, in my opinion, the one that I think is better is the one that you can stay consistent with. I know it's probably not the answer you were looking for, but it's the truth. They're both good exercises. They both do the same thing. It's just a matter of asking yourself which one you prefer. Do you prefer to have a more relaxing sort of exercise, such as walking, or are you someone who's kind of running low on time and you just want to do something real quick that can uh, benefit you at the same time? Then you might want to consider running. But yeah, that's as simple as it gets. I think it's the, the, the better option is just the one that you can stay consistent with. Just like I mentioned earlier, they both burn calories. If you just take into consideration a couple of factors, walking burns calories, but it won't burn as fast as running would. But if you put time with both exercises, they'll both do the same thing. Like, let's just use this as an example. Let's say you wanted to burn 500 calories. And for you to do that with walking, you would have to walk for about an hour, let's just say. But if you chose running, you can actually do that in 30 minutes. So really, depending on the person and how much time you have, in your life just pick one you know you'll burn the 500 calories anyway as long as you do it so it's really just personal preference in my opinion i think people spend way too much time thinking about this um trying to decide whether oh i don't know which one's better walking or running i think the one that's better is the one that you actually do right because if you compared two people let's say i had my friend a that does walking and my friend B who prefers to run. If they both had a goal of losing weight, they'll both lose weight, right? Whether they walk or they run. It just depends on who's more consistent, puts in more effort, things like that. And that's it, that's all there is to it. So between the two, which one's better? The one that you can stay consistent with. So that's that, that's my personal opinion on it. You can agree to disagree. I think it's pretty logical. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Alrighty, so if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you click that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos just like this. Also, don't forget to leave a like letting me know which one you prefer. Do you prefer walking or running? And with that said, I will see you guys next time.